This may be the comparison between two mobile processors. But most probably many of you will take it as comparison between Redmi Note 3 and Redmi Note 4. Many of the Redmi fans were not happy with Xiaomi Shift 2, Snapdragon 625 from Snapdragon 650. So let's see, is 625 really a downgrade from Snapdragon 650? First, let's talk about Snapdragon 650 and 652. 650 is a hexa-core processor with 4 cores clocked at 1.4 GHz and are based on ARM Cortex A53, which are low-powered cores used for less CPU-intensive tasks. And other two cores are clocked at 1.8 GHz and are based on ARM Cortex A72, which are high-powered cores and are used in more CPU-intensive tasks. Whereas Snapdragon 652 is an octa-core processor with 4 cores clocked at 1.4 GHz and are based on ARM Cortex A53. As these are low powered cores, these are used by less CPU intensive tasks and other 4 cores are clocked at 1.8 GHz and are based on ARM Cortex A72. These are used while more CPU intensive tasks. A53 is a simple architecture and cores based on this architecture are less powerful but power efficient. Whereas A72 is a complicated architecture and cores based on this architecture are more powerful. Now let's see how Snapdragon 625 is different from Snapdragon 650 and 652. Snapdragon 625 is an octa-core processor with all its cores clocked at 2 GHz and all the cores are based on ARM Cortex A53. Now you might be thinking 625 is a poor chipset as compared to 650 and 652 because it does not have any core based on ARM Cortex A72. But story doesn't end here. Snapdragon 625 is based on 40 nanometer FinFET technology, which means that its gate length is 40 nanometer, whereas gate length of 650 and 652 is 28 nanometer. What are the advantages of having lesser gate length? So there are mainly three advantages of having lesser gate length. First, as electrons have to travel less distance, clock speed can be higher. Second, due to the lesser distance, electrons need less energy to cross the distance, hence it is power efficient. And third, lesser gate length also reduces the size of the transistor and hence more transistors can be fitted on a given size of the chip. This means this increases the functionality of the chipset. Now. Let's conclude. Is it really a downgrade from 650 to 625? Not exactly. Of course, 650 or 652 is a powerful chipset as compared to 625. But 625 is mainly for optimal performance with insane battery life. So that's it pretty much for this video. Hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, post your decisions in the comment box. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.